science fair. DC West Middle School. You make a box out of wood and you make sure you have plexiglass. And then you put dry ice. You put it in warm water that twirls the tornado up. And our hypothesis is that would, warm water would work better than cold water. And it turned out to be correct because the colder the water and the warmer the air, the more it mixed together and forms a tornado. Funneling creative ideas into science. DC West 8th graders showcasing their projects today. Everybody gets to do it, everybody has to do it, and it, they, they work on it together all at the same time. We go through step by step what they need to do. They have requirements of when they have to be done so that we're ready to go. And I think, I think it, there's a lot of learning going on. My project is over the Stroop effect. And that's the, fi the finding that naming the color of the first set of words, which is this set of words, is easier and quicker than reading this set of words. And it applies to real life because people who are making advertisements or presentations for work have to pay close attention to what colors they're choosing so they don't confuse anybody. We were just trying to test what materials would work best for like soundproofing a room, like different insulations and other materials. Like, so we did fiberglass insulation, egg crate, uh, sill seal foam, and reflective insulation. And what did you prove? We proved that the fiberglass insulation worked the best. This is our science fair project, and we are testing to see if female or male mice um, can run through a maze faster. The conclusion was females got 82 seconds, and the males got 86. The females always, like, have to do something. They are, like, busy bodies, like, you know. So they're always doing something, and the males are more like, oh, I'm gonna go sleep or eat something and then go to bed. I dissected a horse's hoof to determine how it works, and you can see here in this picture, uh, like that's a sensitive hoof, which pumps blood throughout the horse's hoof and leg. And here you can see lamina, which connects the horse's hard hoof to the bony column, which is there under the lamina. Yeah, I learned a lot about how the horse's hoof works and how it's structured. Our science fair project is over crime scene chemistry and we tested how, how temperature and water affects luminol and luminol is a chemical that crime scene investigators use to detect blood and they can even detect it if it's been wiped up or it's been many years. So we both wanted to see how it worked. Both of these are awesome. Proactivity, presentation, proof attributes of a great project. I really like that they do this for the kids. They enjoy it, they step up, they're proud of their work, they get to showcase it, they get to share their knowledge with everybody that's here, and it shows. It's science, so I love science and everything it has to do, so it's really fun just to experiment with science. Congratulations, everyone. From DC West Middle School in Waterloo, Susan Stern reporting.